Okay, so here I have your typical can of cranberry sauce. And I have the serving size listed as a quarter cup. There's 25 grams of carbs and 21 grams of sugar. And the ingredients listed are cranberries, high fructose corn syrup, water, and corn syrup. Wait, corn syrup listed twice? Guys, it's time we ditch this can. Let's ditch this can and make some homemade, low-carb cranberry sauce. Today's recipe, low-carb cranberry sauce. Okay, so for this recipe, you will need cranberries, nutmeg, ginger, a couple of cinnamon sticks, some maple syrup, and this is sugar-free maple syrup, sugar-free sweetener, and I have the sugar-free pineapple, but you can use sugar-free orange, anything with a citrus note. So let's get started. First, we add the clean cranberries to the saucepan. Next, I add the sugar-free sweetener, the nutmeg, and the ginger. On this step, we add the maple syrup. Now I'm adding the remaining liquid. Don't forget the cinnamon sticks. Now you give it all a stir to combine the flavors. Now you want to bring the mixture to a simmer and we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Hey, did you guys hear the cranberries popping? Okay, let's listen for a second. Yep, that was it. So much fun. Okay, so from time to time, you want to give it a stir. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes, and you can see the sauce is beginning to thicken, and this is exactly what we want. Okay, so now we're at the 10-minute mark, and my cranberry sauce is done. Okay, and guys, my kitchen smells like potpourri. Just lovely. Let's go ahead and remove this from the okay, heat. Okay, guys, there you have it. It's my delicious, low-carb, no-sugar-added cranberry sauce. I hope you'll try this recipe. It's so much better than the store-bought kind. Please leave me a comment if you try it. Don't forget to like and share this video. Remember, sharing is caring. <laughs> okay. If you'd like the recipe, please visit my website. It's lowcarb360.com. And as always, I thank you all for watching.